morphine ain't even helping the pain. The green one looks, is looking like it's gonna run. Doesn't sound loud for me and Shane, but on the videos, my truck is like a drone. So, we got this 47, 48, 48. It's a 48 tank under the bed, five window, Thriftmaster, stainless steel window trim, really neat patina. This is the better side. I like this side because it's got this baby blue coming out. It's like a house paint. 216 under the hood. This truck ran and drove when I sold it to him, and it hasn't moved since I sold it to him. So we're gonna find out. Tomorrow definitely needs a cab corner, and then this door is not a perfect match. It's kind of strange because it matches the rear fenders, but it doesn't match the cab. Uh, I got a little rust hole here, a little overswung door. I kind of sort of own this truck. Sold it to a buddy of mine up the road, literally up the road, about 20 minutes up the road. He sold his business and moved to California. We never even did anything with the title. I've had the title for two years. So he said, hey, can you go get that truck? It's right where you left it, inside the warehouse. Bring it down, fix it up, try and sell it so you can get me my money back. I said, sure. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna throw it in the shop. Joe Bates is coming in tomorrow. He's going to see if he can get this thing running. He's one of the last people to touch it. It's actually Shane's first day is when we delivered this truck. Remember doing this with the orange Ford? We delivered two yeah, in one day? Yeah, I do. It's one of, one of your first days. Yeah, I do. One of your first right filmings. There. Up that little warehouse in the corner up there. I'm gonna get this unloaded. My truck's almost out of fuel, so I gotta kinda do this quickly. And then I'm gonna need this trailer all day. Yeah, I'm gonna unload this truck, go get the excavator, and then tomorrow we're gonna haul a bunch of lumber. And then hopefully Wednesday, if not Thursday, we're gonna go get that big GMC cab over down in Maryland. So you gotta look at the weather. It's kinda, we had snow this morning in the mountains that actually accumulated, and we have to drive through there. Maryland tends to get more snow than we do, so I gotta watch that. I don't wanna be trying to do anything in the snow with the big truck and trailer, but that's it. Let's get this thing off the trailer. So we got this really nice 48 Chevy. It's a half ton short bed, five window thrift master. I know that's a mouthful, but what makes it a 48 gonna be the solid side glass is 47 to 50. Thrift master means it's got all this nice stainless trim. Five window means it's got the corner glass. But I'll show you what the real like obvious thing that it's a 47 or 48 is. The fuel tank's under the bed and we don't have the gas filler in the cab. They're rare, they were only two years. This one here I sold about two years ago and it ran 
Brandon drove when I dropped it off, but it's in here in the heat and it should be pretty quick and easy to get it running again. Then we're gonna get it listed for sale. I'm expecting it to fire right off with a battery and fresh gas. It should just, just pop off. It does need another bath real quick and another sweep out. Looks like some more mice got found their way into it where it was uh, where it was sitting. So, but this is gonna be a good truck. This will be around. We'll be asking like 8,500 bucks for this one. How much is it? And who's doing that? Three different places, you stuck her, oh, oh man, but it's really painful for her. She takes morphine and the morphine ain't even helping the pain. Oh, I almost have to, the bill, fucking bills are crazy. Based on income and we just, so we're getting help now with, with some of the stuff. They won't pay like doctor's co-pays, like, do you remember doing this one by chance? No. No? I had it. No, so. this, I didn't do this one. Bill did? Yeah, somebody else did because there, I would have never put a toggle switch in there. There's a toggle switch hanging down for the ignition. I guess that's what it's for. I don't remember you guys working on this one. I remember delivering it. Go get packages. How long was it gone? How long was what? Uh, maybe a year and a half. Oh, yeah. It got delivered with a S100. Yeah, I made a video of them getting delivered, but I didn't make a video of this one getting worked on, I don't think. You know, if I learned anything, the, he taught me like a lot of stuff about the engine, but Bill never taught me. Explain and teach it to me every day. Say this, some strange ideas how things work. And well, I just mean the overall base, like very, very general, like mechanical term, like spark plugs, distributor cap, what the starter is, how a carburetor works. Pistons, valves, literally all that stuff. I had no idea about any of that stuff. All right, well, let's see here now. So Bill must have did this one, huh? I, I assume so, yeah. If you don't think you did it, Bill must No, I, I would have never, ever put a toggle switch in because it's always best to try to use the original ignition switch. Everything's wired to it. You know, even though you don't have a key, drill a cylinder out and use a screwdriver. It does have brakes. It has an e-brake, and the e-brake feels pretty strong. I don't know if it has, if the other brakes are working, like the main brakes. That e-brake works, but I had to release it or break it through. Let's see, crank test. No, the filter is still dry, Joe. Okay. Now, is this all the way in, though? Okay, well, we're probably going to have to put a little gas in there. Yeah. Okay. But you need to put, where do you need to put? Yeah, we might have to. In the carburetor? Here, I'll fill up a little, like, bottle for you. Gasoline eats through styrofoam, right? Yes. Just a, just a small amount. Yeah, I got about a quarter of a mason jar for it right now. Okay. That just, the flow thing on that gas container sucks. The one that you don't like. Yeah, that, that's dangerous as far as I'm concerned. It hurts my finger too. Okay, now the yep. points, if the points are good we should be able to fire up if not even though it's cranking slow mm -hmm.
There's spark coming down here from the starter. There's like a spark happening. Uh, yeah, that, that would probably, that probably, it doesn't mean anything. Okay. I just didn't, it wasn't doing it the first time you were cranking it. I just noticed it the second time. No, we got to see if we got spark here. Let me know if that wire jumps spark right okay. there. Okay. See right here? Yep. Right. This right one. Oh, that yeah. one. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, that should jump to that. Okay. So just no spark overall? Yeah, that, that, that's coming right from the coil, and that should be arcing at least a half inch. But with nothing, you know, when we don't have it. Yeah, we'll never run without spark. Do you see your new uh, topside creeper? <laughs> yeah, look at that thing. That's going to come in handy. Yes, sir. <laughs> Specifically bought for you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you see the spark? I do see it. See? I'm, I'm shorting the points out as if they were closing and opening, but they're dirty, so they're not making contact. It's fucked me. I was talking to Kim. I was like, all these people showing up for the toy drive and the toy drive to like collect stuff. And they're driving up in BMWs, Mercedes, yeah. all these new Jeeps. Well, the one that really got me is all these food giveaways well that stuff's good i feel like yeah but the people that are there are the ones that don't need it exactly you know? well that's how it is in all these cases it seems like on thanksgiving it was crazier did poe go to work today huh yeah i've been calling his boss for him in the morning the last couple days to get him to come and pick him up i know he won't leave till he eats breakfast we got 200 uh scouts showed up yesterday the green one looking, was looking like it's going to run. Engine turns pretty nicely. All the stuff's on it. It didn't look like the rats really got to it. You know those Ford Broncos from the 70s that looked like those? There was one in Hemmings. The guy was asking like 115000 for it. And those cars, they were $1,800, $1,700 brand new. Okay. And they are a pile of junk, you know, to drive. Yeah, they're, they're boxy, junky hard to steer, everything bad that you could think about something. They're worse, they're 10 times worse than a Jeep. Well, the new Broncos, Sport 1 had like the worst crash safety rating of the year. It's what ugly else? too, it's horrible. Looks like one of those Kia cube covers.
No, I'm gonna have to clean them some more. I don't know what's going on with them. They're just being stubborn. Yeah. every once in a while though it should bark every time you know a steady there we go try that that's pretty good that's getting steady mm -hmm. now we gotta do something with the fuel all right we're in there now that's still arcing Okay, yeah, I'm, okay. I'm moving the rotor, opening and closing the point. So I think we're going to be good there. Okay, now we'll give her another shot of gas and see. This shit was all turning red. I don't know. Who, I've never seen it happen before. That's the only reason why I said something. Okay. Well, that's because probably because I got it on a 12 volt battery. Glad you're here watching it. All right, though. It sounds nice, though. No leaks. Yeah, and you know something else you want to remember. These never fill all the way. There's always an air pop. Something to keep in mind. Like you say, oh, it's not full gas. Uh, no, mm -hmm. it never is. Okay. Now we need a good six volt battery. We're going we're to try to get this, see if it'll fire on this one. We're going to see if it'll fire on a 6 volt. seconds just to get the oil uh, just to get the oil circulating in and hopefully the six volt would be enough but it's not it needs to crank more in fact you think maybe a little bit of starting fluid oh no, no, no. It, it just might it, yeah it might start just to but, get it to start Sounds good, Joe. That's a nice idle to it. Yeah, it's not bad. But then he sold all his stuff over here. It was still literally in the building, in the same exact spot where we dropped it off two years ago. Now this is empty, so what do we want to do here? Oh, well, it's going to sit up in the yard, so I'd probably what, toss antifreeze in it. Stump some antifreeze in it and see what happens. Okay. A mix, a 50-50 mix. I always dump mix in it. Yeah. If it starts to leak somewhere, okay, stop. No, you're right. It's got a, a, 
a replacement plug. So I'm guessing when Bill finishes it, he put water in it. So let's do that. Okay. Not that it has to be pristine for a uh, Right, anymore. even used is okay. Yeah, Should I put the whole thing in? Yeah, dump the whole thing, as long as it doesn't. Is it leaking anywhere? Can you see if it's leaking? Is that not gonna, we're not gonna be able to tell until we start it type of deal? There's something draining out down there. Is that the drain, is that the uh, it's overflow? It's leaking, it's leaking. No, is that the overflow or is that? The... I don't know, but I see it down there. I can't tell if it's the overflow. See the rubber hose? Oh yeah. If, if you pour too much in it, sometimes That it... could have happened, because it's actually really full. Okay, that's great. I Look down there, is that from the overflow? It looks like it. Yep. Okay, cool. yep. Yeah. You're full up yep. then. Okay, Good now call. what's gonna happen when you run this, it's gonna come out of there too. Okay. Cause this is gonna expand, but that's, that's good. There's a hole in the radiator, see it? Yep, yep, that's, that's a problem. Okay, chugging right out of there. Yes it is. Well, I don't think he's gonna wanna do anything with it. As long as we got antifreeze in there, we're good. Second time I've had this truck here. Sold this to a good buddy of mine here in Pittsburgh who ended up moving to California. Asked me to go get this thing, get it running, get it driving, to resell it for him. So that's what we're doing. Got it running, got it driving. Didn't really need anything. All we ended up doing to this thing was sweep it out, clean points, cap, rotor, dump a little fuel in it, do a little bit of ignition work to it. And it's good to go, just like it was when I sold it to him. So 48 and a half ton short bed five window the thrift master as all of those early ones were just a hard to find truck it's got a cool patina on it a lot of house paint this blue paint on this fender you can see is like kind of splashed inside the bed too so got some cool coloring to it I'm hoping to find this one a home here kind of quick it's a good you know probably the most popular chevy truck they ever made besides the 55 to 9 this is the advanced design this is ultra popular they've been hot rodding these trucks since the beginning of time everybody knows me for my advanced design trucks it's what's on our logo it's what i've been messing with for years this is kind of the bread and butter for us so we'll see you in the next video
Hey, thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have cars like these in your garage, if you have a fastback Mustang or convertible Impala, a nice original paint pickup truck or an old cab over truck, and you want to sell it, I'd love to try and put a deal together with you. You can get a hold of me at 412-335-6100. We pay excellent prices. We pay finder's fees. You know, it's no secret. We do make a little money on a YouTube video, so that allows me to pay, you know, sometimes market value or really good prices for these cars. We'd love to come out and drag it out of your barn. We'd love to film it. We'd love for you to be a part of that whole process. So if you have an original paint or an original old fastback Mustang that needs work like these ones I have on my trailer or if you have an old pickup or again a convertible Impala cab over truck whether it doesn't matter where you are we buy nationwide here in the United States all the way as far as California I've had stuff New Mexico Arizona Oregon Washington high desert stuff we love so or if you're in the east coast and it's a rusty Mustang or a rusty convertible Impala that is fine we typically don't buy many trucks on the east coast but I buy a lot of cars on the east coast if you have cab over parts also especially for these early Fords I'd be interested in that and never hurts to send me an email or a text ironcitygarage at gmail.com you're welcome to send me an email or a text message probably the best you kind of get an instant answer that way 412-335-6100 i'd love to talk to you hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hopefully we can make a deal on what you guys have on your farms or in your garages